coming two weeks I will be abroad and thus unable to produce reviews. But I did choose a number of interesting videos and flashbacks out of the over 400 videos on my channel to get you through the weeks. This is video 1 of 4. Directly after the high end Munich show I pick up reviewing again, probably starting off with an SOTM computer for music reproduction. The videos and playlists I mention can be found in the description below this video and YouTube. For as far as YouTube allows, a number are also in the top right corner of the screen and at the end of this video. If you are new to streaming audio, or file based audio if you prefer that term, my video playing music from a hard disk and introduction might be exactly what you need. It's from 2017, so some of the equipment I mention might have been replaced by newer models, but it's still a good introduction. When you rip music, copying CDs to hard disk in the streaming lingo, you might want to watch What About Metadata that learns you a good way to store music on the hard disk. It also explains how audio files can be labelled so they can easily be retrieved and categorised. The video is from my beginning time on YouTube, so the video quality is somewhat lower, but the information still is up to date with only one exception. I don't use iTunes anymore. I currently use Rune. iTunes is now called Music on an Apple Macintosh computer, but is still called iTunes for Windows. Reviews of the programs that help you organize metadata can be found in the playlist Software Miscellaneous. If you become more experienced in this field, the playlist Music Metadata Management contains other videos on the subject. If your budget is limited and you are somewhat handy with computers, a Raspberry Pi small board computer might be something for you. The Raspberry Pi as such doesn't sound very well, but there are sound cards for the Pi, called headboards, that can change the Pi into a nice music player. The application you load into it defines if the Pi becomes a complete network player, a network bridge or a standalone player. You can even mount a 7 inch color touchscreen to it, depending on the application you use. The playlist Raspberry Pi for Audio gives you more information. The playlist Raspberry Pi DAX brings you to reviews of sound cards for the Pi and the playlist Raspberry Pi Digital Out contains reviews of the higher quality digital output boards for the Pi. As said, I use Rune software to play music files. I think there is only one piece of software that comes close, although not really close, to Rune and that is Solus. Not strange, for it's the predecessor of Rune. Rune is subscription based, costing from $9.99 per month. Alternatively, you could buy a lifetime subscription at currently $699. But the price doesn't scare of audio files all over the world, and it's the popular music player software on hi fi shows. Not strange, for it doesn't only play music lossless to DAX, network players, and network bridges by most brands. It also completes the metadata of your ripped albums. And it seamlessly integrates your music with music from Tidal and Cobus. If you want to know more, watch my video A Comprehensive Introduction into the Room Music Cataloging and Streaming Program. There are more videos on Room software in the playlist Room Labs. So, if you want to learn more about streaming and networking music playback systems costing in between 100 euros and thousands of euros, you are in the right place. Which brings us to the end of this video. Within a few days, part 2 will be online. If you don't want to miss that, subscribe to this channel or follow me on the social media so you will be informed when new videos are out. Help me reach even more people by giving this video a thumb up or link to this video on the social media. It is much appreciated. Many thanks to those viewers that support this channel financially. It keeps me independent and lets me improve the channel further. If that makes you feel like supporting my work too, the links are in the comments below this video on YouTube. I'm Hans Beekhuizen, 
Thank you for watching and see you in the next show or on the HPproject.com. And whatever you do, enjoy the music.